cancer is one of the world's deadliest diseases, but it often has no symptoms in the early stages. That's why doctors urge adults over 50 to have a colonoscopy to detect any possible cancer. Conventional colonoscopy is performed with a long flexible tube called a colonoscope that is equipped with a tiny fiber optic video camera and a light at the end. The colonoscope is inserted into a patient's colon. Doctors can see the images from the colonoscope on a video monitor. They can also remove any abnormal growths or polyps during the procedure. A less invasive procedure known as a virtual colonoscopy is done with a CT scan that passes x-rays through a patient's abdomen. Dr. Mahadevapa Mahesh, a professor of radiology and medicine at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, says virtual colonoscopies can save the lives of many patients. A lot of the time we see patients not coming to this clinic because of after they talk to this colonoscopy, to their doctors and see all their innovativeness involved, they get scared and they might not get anything done and they might end up getting a cancer. This virtual colonoscopy as a screening tool is quite effective. That's one of the reasons why the National Cancer Institute recommended this as one of the screening devices. If growths or polyps are found during a virtual colonoscopy, then a conventional colonoscopy must be done to remove them. But some doctors say the CT scan exposes patients unnecessarily to harmful radiation as much radiation as a patient might receive from 400 chest x-rays. Dr. Julian Nicholas is a scientist, formerly with the Food and Drug Administration. He says arguments for virtual colonoscopy are not sound. There was an absence of sufficient valid scientific evidence to conclude that the use of CT devices for colorectal cancer is both safe and effective. Dr. Nicholas says before he left the FDA, he and other scientists warned against the routine use of CT scans. FDA physicians and scientists were ridiculed and chastised for raising the bugaboo of radiation. Dr. Jeffrey Shuren from the FDA agrees that patients may not be fully aware of the risks involved in a virtual colonoscopy. What we are sure is that the technologies that do come on the market are safe and effective, but whether or not they should be used in a given case, a given patient, it's a decision that's made by the individual practitioner. But with 70 million CT scans being performed in the U.S. every year, the government is under pressure to make an official recommendation on how much radiation is safe during a CT scan. For Vidushi Sinha, Carol Pearson, VOA News.